hello guys good evening or good afternoon so welcome back to my channel a lot of you guys are having problem to submit your dharma CISO application and also with the document so in this video i am going to talk about the document in details and also how to apply for this scholarship so stay with this video and make sure you watch the whole video in the end or in the middle there will be a lot of information that you really need to know so the first thing you need to do is go to the Dharma CISO website and uh, click apply and um, go continue and you have to create your account or profile here so if you already have you can log in that and if you haven't created that so you need your passport number so make sure you write your passport number name everything correctly because once you submit you cannot change it again for creating the account sometimes it takes time so once you submit your passport number your name everything you're supposed to receive an email sometime you will receive it uh, not today maybe in tomorrow so don't worry you will receive it and just be patient for that so I already created a sample profile for you so this is the profile I already logged in and uh, fill out all the information that are mentioned here so your um, status your marital status if you are married you can apply if the so committee does not know you can get the scholarship for selecting the embassy name you have to select the Indonesian embassy of your own country and the country you are citizen of if you does not have Indonesian embassy in your country you have to select your nearest country that is responsible for your country so you have to research about that you can send email to your nearest em nearest embassy to make sure in the first page as you can see we need your photo so the photo the file is jpg so if your file is in different format you cannot submit that so you have to convert that the maximum size is 250 if you do a little bit of mistake the file would not work so uh, if it is the size is less it doesn't matter but if it is larger than the maximum capacity then it then it not it would not work okay so then for the passport a lot of you are actually having problem with the passport so passport validity at least 18 months for the time of arrive in Indonesia so this passport validity you need this for visa for applying you does not need this if you have it it's good if you don't have it up, apply and once you get accepted from this scholarship you can reissue your passport for that uploading the CV it's very simple you need to write a CV so if you want to see a CV sample I can show you so this is the CV the name and uh, some contact information education career career application information you does not need to add a lot of information because you are not applying for a job rather you are applying for Dharma CISO so you can uh, add information that is related to Dharma CISO maybe your language skill or something what experience you have that is related to Dharma CISO for the medical certificate a uh, lot of you are asking for this so in the website there is not much information what type of medical test you need so actually you does not need to do a medical test if you just book an appointment with a doctor the doctor will check your pressure and maybe doctor will talk with you then he will issue a document that you are mentally and physically fit for applying for any higher education so if you want to see a example this is the example it is on his pad he will write your name maybe he can also add your passport number here this is very simple and uh, for disclaimer this is what worked for me I'm not responsible for any failure uh, and as you can see the file it is PDF and maximum size is 1 MB make sure you submit the proper file format and the si size if it is small it doesn't matter so I can add some website there you can do it in online if you does not have the converter check out the description 
so once you added your personal data now Indonesian scholarship so Indonesian scholarship if you previously had any Indonesian scholarship you awarded from Indonesia you can mention that or most of you are new in the MSISO program so you does not need to add anything just skip this and emergency contact so you will write your phone number in your personal information for the emergency number you will write maybe your father's or brother or maybe your mother's number and emergency contact number in Indonesia so if you does not have any number any relative in Indonesia it's not mandatory just skip this part and for last education so you will uh, write your university or whatever whatever last degree you have your major so in college most of the uh, education in most of the country the education system is like you have commerce subject or maybe related to business and there is related to science and related to arts so write down whatever major subject you have your entry your graduation year and if you finished or one going you can mention that okay so for the recommendation letter so this recommendation letter would be issued from your last education institute so for me I didn't even uploaded my rec recommendation letter rather I had a testimonial from my last college so I uploaded that and it worked and last diploma certificate so this is your certificate so check out what file they are asking they are asking for PDF and upload your transcript so transcript what is transcript some of you are uh, concerning about this maybe you don't have this system in your country transcript is where the most of the number information is written so this is a example of transcript you have the subject name and you also have the number how much how many number you got in each subject so I think it's quite clear about the transcript and for the transcript if you don't have the transcript you can also add any related mark sheet now let go back to what related certificate so what is related certificate suppose you are a culinary student you are applying for culinary art so maybe you have work experience in restaurant you can mention that or maybe you did a short course you can add that certificate here if you don't have just skip this it's not mandatory document and language ability so if you know a little bit of Bahasa Indonesia that is good advantage try to write uh, uh, correct information here uh, and if you add a lot of different language they might also take your interview in a lot of different language so keep in mind uh, I already know about someone who had this situation he told that he know five different language and he had the interview in five different language so that was quite funny any English proficiency certificate is not mandatory it says if applicable I don't know when it is applicable there is no information about this in the website so just escape this if you have it it's it might be advantage I don't know so now moving on to place of study so this is very critical section so make sure you do research from my video I have video about the location about the university so do your research from those because every university you will have different experience in terms of the education system in terms of the uh, hospitality uh, with them in terms of even in terms of the price in different locations so do your research before you choose a university so suppose you are applying for Bahasa Indonesia I have recommendation a recommended university so you can choose those and if you see here right after the university name there is very important clue the resistant it's it means how many applicant already registered for this university so the higher the resistant the lower the acceptance rate and the less the resistant the higher the acceptance rate so 
um, there is no specific number which university will accept how many students but previous year the maximum amount of was 36 students accepted by one university and the lowest was two students accepted by one university so uh, if you are good in English and you already watched most of my video you know most of the information then you can apply for any university whether it has more than 100 applicants it doesn't matter but if you are little bit weak in English so you can try to stay in middle but I don't recommend to go to to lower unless it is recommended university from my video because suppose you apply to a university that only had 20 registrants so uh, out of those 20 they already applied for another university for the first option so even if they accept 20 they would not get 20 they might get 10 after that some of them don't even join the program so you will end up with seven students so maybe you will feel lonely but if you have uh, around 20 students in a university you have a lot more diversity you can have friends from many different countries that is very good advantage and yeah, because you are coming here new for one year you I don't think you want to feel lonely here you want to enjoy this time so try to um, apply for uh, university that is in the middle or it doesn't matter if you are good in English you can apply any university don't try to go to lower unless you are really weak in English so just to give you a example of the English proficiency in terms of Dharmasi so most of the Dharmasi so student is not fluent in English once they arrive here but after they arrive here they slowly get fluent in English and for me I wasn't even that much fluent in English when I applied my university has 90 applicant and I got selected out of 90 they only accepted maybe 15 so now we are only 7 so you can make a decision based on this and I think you still have the question which university I should choose um, so do your research as best as you can because we cannot mention the bad university name in publicly so but there is university I really think the ministry should eliminate them from this program so just do your research and try to stay in the middle or good university don't go too low unless it is recommended by my video and now about the essay so if you go back to the requirement it says write essay about purpose of study in English or Vasa Indonesia and for the essay you can choose either English or Vasa Indonesia whichever language you are comfortable in you can choose that if you are applying for language if you can write the essay in Vasa Indonesia this is good advantage so they want to know your purpose so you have to describe very strongly why you want to study in Indonesia what benefit you can get out of this subject or something so if you need more information you can check my video about the interview sample you can get clear understanding about the purpose of your study so try to write a good essay and maybe I can show you an example so this is an example so the other one so you can actually write much more better essay um, compared to this so just give a I get an idea from this and try it as best as you can don't copy this because then most of the essay would be same so once you submitted everything here you saved everything here then you will have this submit registration you will get this blue and you could submit that so 
I can't really remember whether it was blue or not but once you submit it you can see this is submitted and in the bottom you can also see when was the date you submitted so I hope this video is very clear about how to apply and about the document don't concern too much about the document every document here is very flexible because every student is going to upload different document and uh, for some document if you don't have the document in English you can translate that you can go to a office that can translate your all of your document you cannot submit document that is not in English you can submit if it is in Bahasa Indonesia if you can submit a if you if you can't manage a specific document try to uh, submit any related document uh, for substitute that will also work for and for getting this scholarship it's very easy it's very easy as long as you are real applicant you can speak little bit of English you can get this scholarship I saw people uh, who cannot speak English at all but they can speak little bit of Bahasa Indonesia so they applied for Bahasa Indonesia and they got the scholarship and I uh, trust me majority of the student they are not fluent in English they are becoming fluent in Indonesia so just apply and as soon as you apply through this website you will have interview in the embassy and the embassy in the embassy the interview is like oral test you have the mark so make sure you watch most of the video about related to Dharma Sisa from my channel and subscribe my channel the embassy does not select anyone embassy just give the number and university will select and obviously not all of them will get accepted because some student they're not really interested to join this program they don't research anything they're not even they can't even speak English there is a lot of different uh, reason why a student don't get accepted so not all student will get accepted maybe you still have a lot of question you might be thinking for asking my email number or phone number a lot of them are doing this so don't ask me my personal information I would not share I could not do that and maybe I can add whatsapp group link in the description so you can join in the group and you can ask if you have any question in the group so I will try to add the link every year if I don't have time I would not do that so thank you guys for watching this video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet you should subscribe and thank you guys bye